Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 5 of this RMS Titanic tutorial. Today's focus is the promenade deck, which will focus on inside walls, uh, windows and things, as well as the outside windows and pillars. And that will all support the boat deck when that's added, so um, quite a bit to do. Uh, for the inside walls, which we're going to build first, it's going to go into three phases. So I'll do the front half first, then we'll do the back half, or third really, because it's in sort of threes. So the first third, and then the back third, and then the middle bit will be done separately afterwards as well. So we're going to focus on the first section first. So we go to the front wall of the uh, promenade deck, which is this section here. Find the centre block, which I've conveniently marked. And on the wood, down here, you're going to count to the seventh block back. So it's basically leaving a six block gap. So uh, seventh block back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So on the seventh block, we start building. So on this block, uh, well here, this wall is going to be 35 wide. So that's 17 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Same the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that should be 35 wide, so just double check it. And yep, 35 wide, it says at the end of that pink sentence, right. So we're going to go to the first phase of it, and we're going to work on the left hand side first, because uh, I will let you know first that neither side of this ship in this section are symmetrical. So we'll work on the left hand side first. And what we're going to do on the left hand side, we're going to add a row of 53. So I should put the first block and then measure it. So we're going to add a line of 53, 5, 3. So I should just add a line and then measure it when I get there. So, oh, missed one. So just build down the length there, and that is 43. Add another 10. 51, 52, 53. So that's 53 down like that. So it's 53 straight. And then inwards, we want to build 2. So we go 2 that way. And then we want to add 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then inwards 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like that. And then 17 back again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17. Right, so I just measure the, those, or this one to make sure it's 17. That's 17, and the same, this 17, and that is 17 as well. So that is one side done of the front half. So I should go to the right hand side now and do the other side. And what we're going to do is add 52 blocks. So instead of 53, we'll add 52. So I should measure that one from there and then count back. Well, not count it, but build it anyway. So it should be 52 this side. And that is, that's 31, so another 20. That is 55, so I've gone too far, so 1, 2, 3, like so. So that, that's 52, so we've got 52 this side. All right, so there we go, and then same again, we want in 2, so I want 1, 2 that way. And then we want uh, 18 back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And I shall measure that to make sure it is 18. 18 like that and at the end of the 18 you want to build inward six so one two three four five six and then 25 back so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five and I measure that to make sure it is 25 and that's fine so that's 25 so you've got there's two sides like that you can see they're not the same different lengths and it should look something like that. So that's the first half laid out. And then what you want to do is increase all those walls in height to four blocks high. So, to, uh, so it's two, three, four. So make sure they're all four blocks high all the way around. So I just do this as quick as I can using weld edit. So set quartz there. And uh, I may do a jump cut, but I'll get the first half done at least. I don't have to worry too much. All right, so do, 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 do. But yeah, the uh, front half four high, the back half will be four high as well. But the middle section, or the middle third, will be five or six high because it's uh, a different section. It's a, it's, a, it's the inner walls of the middle section sort of jut out uh, above the middle section of the boat deck. So 
it, it sounds a bit silly but if you're familiar with Titanic then you know what I'm talking about and I shall go over to the prototype in a minute and explain it because it's it needs doing we'll just get these inner walls here done first and there we go that's all those walls done like that so that's the inside front third of the uh, promenade deck right so we go back to the right hand side and onto the back wall here so this back wall that we just built so it's, so it's the uh, row of 25 I think yep so what we're going to do is on the top block here so the row, it's four high here but on the end block we increase it to five like that um, and then what we do is build across 16 so that's one already then two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen like that and then forward eight so one two three four five six seven eight like that to join uh, one side to the other and then what you do on top is increase that to uh, three high so we had another row on top like so Then we had another row on top of that. So this would be sort of the front wall of the uh, raised deck on the boat deck. And it'll also be sort of the back wall of the um, officers' quarters. I think it's officers' quarters, but it's the, it's the superstructure on top uh, that will support the, fir the first two funnels. So that's the back wall of that section and the front wall of the raised section. So that is the front third done. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to the back third. And this is one of those awkward jobs. So what we're going to do is fly down to the back end of the promenade deck, up to the uh, the two window section. So we built the two window section in part four, which is here. And I've put a marker in the middle. And I'm just to change my page so I know what I'm doing. So this is going to be the same sort of process. Work on the left hand side first, and then move on to the right because it's uh, a pain in the ass to do, and it's also a lot more complicated this side. Right. So on the wood block, so we we'll count forward off the centre block. So on the wood which is this block here, we're going to count forward uh, 32 blocks, so I've got a marker there already, so 32 forward is this point here, so 30, the 32nd block and on the 33rd block we start building, so it's a 32 block gap basically from the back wall to where we're building here, so it's a 32-32 block gap and then this wall on the back here we're going to build it 19 wide, so that's 9 either side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like that and I think what I'll do, I'll actually make that i put a cutter block there to mark the centre, so it's, it's 9 either side and you've got the centre block there, so that's 19 wide alright, so now working on the left hand side this is where things get uh, a real pain in the ass, alright, so working on the left hand side again we're going to build forward 5, so we build 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then out 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we want 2 forward, so 2 there, and then 2 again, 2 like that. So it's shaped like that. And then for the side here we want, I'll just get my notes to make sure I'm doing this right, so we want uh, 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then 2 there like that, so it's it's curving inwards again. And at the end of that two, uh, you want eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then two that way, like so. And then we want <laughs> my notes have just collapsed, so I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so then, <laughs> then we want uh, oh bollocks, what is it? It's ten. So we want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it? Yeah, bear with me on this one. Oh shoot, what am I doing? Uh, so it's eleven there, and then we wanted. Uh, oh no, this is meant to be meant to be seven. So this one where I made it eight should be seven. So reduce it by one, put the block there. Right. So start again from that section. So so it was eleven, and then two, and then seven, and then two. So it's two out again. Apologies there. For God's sake, my bloody notes keep falling off. Right. Bear with me a second. This freaking thing. Right, 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 right. So it's seven and then two out. Right, and then after that we want eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight along that line there. And then we want two there, like that inwards. And then we want uh, ten. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. And then two out like that. 
and then uh, the side we want eight again so one one two three four five six seven eight and then two in there and then we want 23 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and I think that's right so it should be 23 like that just double check everything's fine and then after that we want to build inwards 8 so we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then forward 29, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now I'll measure that to make sure that's 29. Up to there, that's 29. And then I measure that row of 8 there, so that's 8. And then I measure this 22 to make sure that's 22. Because so everything has to be exact, that's the problem with this section. So that's all lined up fine, that's absolutely correct the way I've written it down. So that's the left hand side. <sighs> right, so that's the left done. I'm just going to check my notes and make sure I get this right, so bear with me a second. Right, okay, right, now we're moving on to the moving on to the right side. So the right side, same on this side, we're gonna build uh five forward, so one, two, three, four, five. And then eight out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two forward, two like that. And then two again, two like that. Just change my notes. And then we want 10 forward, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two, two in like that. And then we want eight, and then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then two out like that. And then we want eight again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then two in there. And then we want ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two there. Change the notes again. And then we want eight again, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then two in there. And then we want far, uh, no, and we want. Uh, 13. So we want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 2 out there. And then we want, then we want uh, 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then inwards, 8. So we're building across now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then forward 29. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And I should measure that to make sure it's 29. And there we go, that's fine. So that's both sides lined up together, I think. So I think they're about a bit even. Yep, they're fine. So that is absolutely fine. That's both sides. Uh, together like that. You can see the layout of the section here. Very complicated, but if you can follow that, then you're brilliant. <laughs> okay, quick jump cut there. The uh, game went into a bit of a seizure and I had to restart it all. Right, so apologies for that. Anyway, this uh, back section we've just built, we're going to increase it all now to four blocks high. So start at the front end, we'll increase it to four height. We'll do this all the way around. So Another long jaunt all the way around, so I do set quartz and spell it right, quartz for that bit, and then all the way around. So I do the fair I do one half and then I'll do probably do the uh, do a jump cut and sort that on the other side. Because this one's this side's a bit more complicated than it normally is. So yeah, I'll just do the one side and then jump cut it. So bear with me while I sort this out. But it's just increase it all to four high all the way around.
that's almost done with this half and do the side oh, yeah. right up to end there and that's one side done so you can see I've done one side that's all increased to four high so what I'm going to do now just do a quick jump cut while I sort out the other side and then we'll move on again so uh, back in a moment okay back again now I've sorted out the uh, other side walls and they are now all four blocks high and they should look something like this uh, you can go ahead now and start adding doors and windows to these uh, inside walls. I know they were, weren't, well, weren't so much fancy windows, but the windows were sort of, uh, well, sort of this design, weren't they? Sort of, say, three across, three across, and then one window there, something like that. And then add a couple of doors in between. You can sort of uh, copy that design if you want, but that's the sort of windows we had on the uh, promenade deck, I think. Um, I've not actually added any windows to my promenade deck, so it's a bit bare in there, but uh, that's the sort of windows we had. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, before we move on to the third section, which would be the middle, we're going to go to the front section of the th uh, third, third, if you like, the back third. Go to the front section of that, so we'll go to the uh, left-hand side. So this is the left here, of course the front is over there, so this is the left. And on the top end block, we're going to uh, add another block there. And then build in four, so one, two, three, four, like that. So it's it's five high on this one block. And build in four. Same on the other side. We build one block on top to make it five high, and then we build in six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, forward eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Like so, and then join them together with a row of nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. And that's those two sections like that, how joined together. And then these three walls we just built, or one, two, three, four, five walls we just built, increase them to three high. So just add another two rows on top. Like so, so remember to build them upwards, not downwards. So we're building up above what we just built. So you still have the gap underneath. So these are not deck level. These are these will be the um, uh, the surround for what will be the um, oh, what is it? The third funnel deck house that will be set on this area here. So we'll just increase it all to three high anyway, and it'll also be the boundary for the raised deck as well. So we'll get to that in a moment. But that's that section there. There you go. That's all increased in height to three high there. So it looks a bit weird at the moment, but trust me, when it's all done, it will be fine in theory. Uh, so that is that section done. So what we're going to do now is go down to the back section of the front third now. So we're on the left hand side still. I'm going to change the page on my notes so that I know what I'm doing. And this is more confusing work so I'm going to, have to sort of adjust it as I go. So we're on the left hand side. We've got this row here which is just below the raised section here. So we've got the raised section here. We don't worry about that. We just go what's on deck level. So we've got this row here if I just measure it, it should be it's uh, 18 long. So, so this row of 18, we're going to we're going to start building outwards now. So from the bottom block, we're going to build out to nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to build down tenth, uh, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like so. And then we build three, one, two, three, like that. So it's out nine, down ten, and then a row of three. And then we want a row of five, so one, two, three, four, five, and then three in again, so one, two, three, so we're sort of S shaping out. And then we want a row of ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we want two out like that. So it's the shape is like that. A bit weird, I know. And then we move down to the next row, and then we want uh, a row of seven on the outside, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two in there. And then a row of three, one, two, three, and then two again there. So it's curving in and then out. And then we want, uh, hang on, bear with me a second. And then we want a row of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two in, two like that. And then a row of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then inwards five, one, two, three, four, five, and that will that will connect to the row of 29 there so that is that side done like that so that is how that should look looks a bit weird I know but it's 
it will do anyway. So that's the uh, left side. So I'm going to go to the right hand side now. And we're going to go to the row of 25. So this is the side row here was 25 long. I'll just measure it. And yeah, that's 25. And that side over there, I did say it was 18, it's actually 17, as you saw. If you looked at my, if you looked at the pink sentence when I measured it, it did say 17. So ignore what I said. So we've got this row of 25 here. And so from the end block of the 25, just adjust my notes a minute. Uh, right hand side. So from the 25, we're going to extend it by 14. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then we want to build out 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 14 and then 7. And then we want uh, 6 down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we want 2 there like that. So it's 14, 7, 6, 2 like that. And then adjust my notes. Uh, so then we want uh, a row of 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then 2 in that way. And then we want three, one, two, three, and then two out again, two, two there. Uh, and then we want three, one, two, three, I think. No, hang on, ignore that. So it's three and then two. And I was reading across, reading across my notes here. Sorry, so it's so it's actually in, instead of two, it should be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then two in like that. And then seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then inwards four, one, two, three, four, like that, and that connects to this side of the uh, raised deck house there. So that is the uh, that midsection done there, or well, the foundation of it, and it should all look something like that. And um, yeah, so that's that section done. Right, so we're going to go back down to the left-hand side again and go to the very first section of it, this front wall here. And from here all the way down the side to the back end we're going to well, accept the back wall really so this side except this back wall here because this will be adjusted later on so this back wall here we won't worry about that just now um, the rest of it we're going to increase to six is it six high uh, can't remember where I read it down so bear with me a second oh increase to seven high so it should be seven blocks high. So there we go, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, it'd be the same height as the uh, raised sections here. So increase it all to seven blocks high. So set quartz. So it should all be seven high. It looks a bit tall, but when the de when the boat deck is added, it won't be a big issue. So I'll just do the one side for the minute, and then we'll. Uh, Work this one out because it's another time consuming job. But it has to be done, and then we'll got to add some big windows to these sections as well. So, well, I'll do as much as I can on camera because I don't want to spend too long doing it. It does take up a lot of hard drive space if you, if you think about it. Um, down to there, so that one. Like I say, it should all be seven high, except that back wall there, because we'll adjust that later on. Because when you add the boat deck uh, and the top deck superstructure, is going to be slightly adjusted. Or at least I'm not. I'm. I'm just leaving it really, it's just so I don't make a mistake in a minute. So that's the main reason for it. This section here, we'll leave that blank for the minute. So it's 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 seven high, but I'm only going to do or leave it blank for the minute um, until the uh, the deck house goes on, really, because that's that's going to be an issue. And I think the same on the other side, where it goes inwards. There, we'll leave that blank as well. So when we add the boat deck uh, deck house, it uh, shouldn't be too bad. Um, Oh, well, I don't think it'd be a problem actually. Oh well, anyway, we'll, we'll increase the rest of it anyway to uh, seven high, and then we'll uh, work on that in a moment. Because the the, uh, the deck house that goes there will, will support the third funnel, and it uh, sort of overlaps the sections that we're building. 
I don't want to sort of make a mistake and I'd have to correct it later on. So we'll, we'll have a look at it in a minute and then we'll uh, work it out from there. I don't think that'd be a big issue there. And there we go, that's that section done to there. And that's that done. I think what we can do uh, is, we'll say screw it really, and just fill in the gap in between. So filling this gap here on the back will actually increase it all to seven high as well. So if there is an issue later on, then I can correct it. So I don't think it'll really be a big, a huge disaster. So we'll just build all the way across, filling in these back walls. And then it should all look something like that. So when we come to add the deck in this middle section, the deck will sit along the top walls here. And it will be two or three blocks higher than the boat deck. But we'll worry about that in a minute. So that's that section does. So now we're back on the left-hand side again. Um, so the left-hand side, go to the front section of this, this area. And we're going to have some big windows, so I'm just trying to think how this will work. The windows are meant to go, f or are meant to be five high. But if I go to the prototype, and you can see how they're sort of done. So you've got on the front window here, this front window here, is, you've only got the two blocks showing, but if I move the boat deck around, you can see the window is actually four wide and five high. So it goes from the boat, from the promenade deck up to the boat deck, so that's how that window goes. And it's the, sort of the same with the sides. So you've got two windows there. You've got a bigger window on this section and another window there. And there and there. And another one over there. So you sort of, the windows, if you look down here, they're on the boat deck, on the promenade deck, sorry. But they go all the way up to the boat deck. So I'm going to try and recreate some of that. Loosely, I, I uh, admit. So I'm going to go back to the left-hand side. And work on the... Uh, the uh, front portion here, so I'll add a window. So I'll cut a four block window there, make it four high. So it's four by four, and then we'll add two blocks there. So the two blocks there will stick out the tops, and then we glaze this area. So that's the first window there. And then around the side, we'll add another two, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, and then make them four by four and then remove the top two and make the other one four high and remove the top two and then fill those in with glass so I'm only doing this at random I'm just basically trying to copy what I've done on the prototype these are not strictly accurate to the real ship um, I'm just sort of doing it as I made it up so that's those two windows there and on the outside here we make a window which is three long but still four high and then add a single block at the top and then glaze that one. So that's that window there. And then the next row again will add another uh, four, yep, four by four with two at the top. And then glaze that. Like so. And then for the next one, we do another three wide by four. And then the top window there, and glaze that. So that's that window there. And then the same with the next one along, we do another three wide window with the top bit, glaze all that in. And then for the next one along, we add another four long window. and then fill that in with glass as well. So that's that side done. I remember I'm only doing this at random so you don't have to copy that it, uh, copy it as gospel but when the boat deck is added the top sections of those windows will stick at the top. So that is that section done. So I'll do the same roughly on the other side. So the five section, five high section here or the eight, seven section seven high sections though, so I'll add another four long window by four high with 
two at the top. And glaze that in. Same on the next row along. Four. Bit two at the top. Like so you can probably add another small one in the end here, which I might as well do. A three by four on the end. With one at the top. Like so and then around the side we just add uh, a three one here or a four, whichever whichever you want to do. I'll just add a three one. So a three there. And then a four or a five really you can put on this one, you make this one five wide. Two, three, four high. And then add three windows at the top. So it's a five long like that, quite a big window. And the same with the next one along really and do make that a five. And then the next one along, we just add a four. And there we go, that's those windows done there. So it's, like I say, all at random, but when it's all done, it will look fine. It does look a bit weird at the moment, but not to worry just yet. Right, so that's all that area done, and I do apologise if it's taken so long, but uh, we can move on to something else now. So I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I move on to the, or me measure the next section, and then we'll go from there. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now what we're going to do is work on the pillars and side windows of the promenade deck. Go to the front corners of the uh, promenade deck itself, so the front, uh, well yeah, the very front corners here, Got the promenade deck here or that section we built earlier. So the front corners here, we're going to go to the eighth block back. So I'm working on the left, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add a pillar, just make sure that is the eighth block back. And yep, that's fine. So eighth block back, add a pillar, leave a three block gap, add a pillar, leave a three block gap, add a pillar, and then leave a one block gap, add a block, and then a pillar, and another pillar like that. So that's the front open section plus the curve of the uh, front of the promenade deck and it should look something like that okay so after that those are uh, pillory sections are there we're going to add some windows and we're going to add 14 windows which are two blocks high and one block apart so we'll add the first one there so that's one and then two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, so you've got 14 windows there like that. And then we add the uh, fill in the gaps between each with white blocks. Like so, so you've got 14 windows there like that. And then after that, after those 14 windows, you add two pillars at the end, so you add a pillar and then a pillar there like that, so it's four, four blocks like that. And then what we want to do is add 35 windows. It's 35 windows, two blocks high, same process. So 35. So one, two, three, four. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So there's 35 windows there like that. And then same again, we just fill in the gaps in between all the way along. There we go, and there's all those windows added. Can't really see them very well because of the uh, white against glass, doesn't really help. But that's 35 plus 14, that's it. 14 at the front end, 35 back there. 
And then after that 35th window, we want to add another four blocks, so another two pillars basically. So a pillar there and a pillar there like that, so it's four blocks. And then we leave a three block gap, so one, two, three, and we add another pillar. So this would be the open promenade. So it's the first pillar there, and then we want uh, 32 pillars. So that's the first one there, and we want 32. So that's number one. Three, so each pillar is separated by a three block gap so it's the same all the way along just to get that out of the way so three block gap pillar three block gap pillar three block gap pillar all the way along so like I say you want 32 of these so it's the first one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 and 32. So that's 32 pillars added along the side and at the end you should have 10 blocks which are exposed so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 so there we go, there's 10 blocks there which will be uh, well not have pillars on so that's that so that's the pillars and windows done there so what we want to do from then is on top of the end pillar we build a line of blocks all the way along the top of the windows all the way to the front pillars at the other end so I build a line all the way along Hopefully do it without screwing it up. So like I say, just build a line all the way along the top. And it should all be fine, but it's quite a long process. So we've gone all the way along the top of the pillars, and now we're just doing it along the top of the windows. Bloody hell, trying to get that, that gap. Right, there we go. Right, so fill it all the way to the front end. Damn it. Filled in a gap I should not have filled in. Right, there we go. Right, so there we are. We'll go across the top of the front pillars. And once you get to that very front pillar, we add one more block to overhang like that. And there we go. So there's the line all the way along the top of all the windows and the pillars. And then once you've added that line, you double it to make it too high. So we add another line across the top. But I'm not going to do that freehand. I'm going to use weld edit. <laughs> so we just double that line in height along the top. And then we'll move to the back end again. Up to there. And we just add set quartz. There. So there we go. There's two high along the top there like that. So it's too high two blocks high above the pillars in the windows as you can see so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly copy and paste this to the other side and then we can move on to the next job <sighs> it takes a long time this does so copy to there, stand on that corner block then we'll do copy and then we'll fly to the other side and paste it there we go paste and there we go that's the other side done just make sure it is on the eighth block back and yeah, that's fine so there we go that's the other side done as well so we've got all the pillars and windows done on this side you can't see them very well because of the light effect but trust me they are there so you've got the windows and the pillars and all things like that so that's that little job done so now we we'll fly to the back end of the uh, promenade deck and these open windows and from the last pillar of the uh, open area, so I work on the left hand side first, so on the left on the last pillar here at the back we build inwards, so from the top here we're going to build in uh, 11, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and then back uh, 9, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 like that, so it's in 11, back 9, same on the other side, so what was it in 11? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then back 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the last job is just to join them together across the middle. 
and there we have that back uh, back portion done like that and I'll just add a center block to mark the uh, or a center block color to mark the center point so that when I come to build things on the boat deck I've got a marker but that's that section all done there and it should all be fine just look down below yep yeah, that's fine and that's the back end of the boat deck well, what will be the boat deck uh, in a minute so we'll just fly to the front end and sort out the front portion of this because this will be where the bridge will go so we go to the front left side and where the pillars are here so we'll work from the uh, bottom block um, and what we're going to do we're going to build inwards uh, five so from the front here bottom block we go one two three four five and then four one two three four because we're sort of curving as we go so curving forward so it's five four and then we want three three so we're one two three one two three one two three so it's three 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 and then we want uh, four again one two three four uh, and then eight one two three four five six seven eight and then I put a color block to mark the center and that is the front of what will be the bridge so I do the other side as well so we go in five one two three four five and then four one two three four and then three rows of three one two three one two three one two three and then four one two three four and then eight one two three four five six seven eight and that joins up in the center like that and that will be where the uh, wheelhouse goes and then this section we just built here we're going to increase it in height to three blocks high so from the end corner we just add another block there and build it three blocks high all the way across to the other side Do the same on the other side. And there we go, that's the front wall of the uh, bridge done. And it should look something like that. There's one more little job on this front section to do first. So under the center block of the front of the bridge, we add a pillar straight down to connect to the uh, deck below. So I can remove that block really. So you got the pillar straight down. So remove that one as well. Pillar straight down, and then you leave a five-block gap either side. So one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, we add another pillar. Same the other side. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth block, a pillar. So you got the three pillars along the front like that. So that's the front of the bridge, and that is that little job done. So what we want to do now is basically add the deck so if you go from the uh, promenade deck on the side so if we go from the side windows the deck will sit along the top like that so you got the side windows there and you got the, the, the deck will sit along the top there like that so you got you still got the four gap headroom and when you build the deck it will sit on top of the inside walls here and also it will go around the uh, raised section in the middle there so uh, when we add the deck uh, the deck will go all the way back but it won't affect this area here because when we add the deck to this section the deck will be along the tops of this section so the deck will be a couple of blocks higher than the deck uh, than the boat deck so I use the fill tool to fill in all the deck and uh, let's see how this goes so I use fill wood by 300 and we'll see how this goes it should go around the raised section when it does, oh there we go, so there's the deck added there, so the deck goes all the way forward to the bridge there, so that's all fine there, so that looks absolutely fine, and we'll head down to the back end, as you can see the middle section is not covered up, that's fine, and the back end of the boat deck is all filled in as well, so we've got all the uh, decking added there, and now they've got the roof on, you can see the uh, actual pillars and windows on the promenade deck there. So that's that little job done there. And now for the um, the inside area here, like I say, the deck will go along the top here. So add the deck along the tops of this area. And I shall use the fill tool here, so I'll stand on that block and fill again. 
and there we go that's that deck added there missing a block there of course but there you go you've got the, uh, the boat deck here which sits along the top of these sides and you've got the inside walls and raised deck there so that is that section done there and it don't look too bad do it it looks a bit weird at the moment but once you get all the other gubbins on it will look fine and that is that little job done there so we've got plenty done so far and what we can do now is where the uh, the glazed windows goes to the open promenade we can just add that one block to create the curve there and that's fine so I do the same the other side down there and that looks fine there so that's that area done there and on the prototype you can see it a lot better so you can see the windows are open there and all glazed there so that is that section but you can see there's still plenty more to go on top and we'll add that uh, another day so that's the boat deck the promenade deck superstructure done and the raised deck all done as well as the front of the bridge and the ship is definitely looking more titanic like anyway that's all that done so there's one more job i want to do which is the stairs going from the promenade deck up to the boat deck so if we go from i'm just looking at the prototype here and just going so it's one two so it's a one two third block back from the corner or the fourth block back really if you count the corner so if i just copy that so if i go back over to the uh the build over here and go back down to uh the, the promenade deck so i'm on the front right section of it so we're on the promenade deck here so it's, it's inside wall here go to the fourth block back so one two three four and then we start building our stairs up so add stair block stairs 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 and then we cut a hole for our top stairs and then double it in width for the stairs there like so so we've got stairs going from the boat from the promenade up to the boat deck and we'll cut the hole so we've got that area there so I'm just going to go, go over and double check the dimensions now uh, in various media whether it be films models photographs or whatever it tends to vary on how this area is uh, uh, perceived because in some films this area is not covered. I mean, the stair it's basically just a staircase going down. But in some films, this or some films of photographs, the staircase is covered. In other films of photographs, the staircase is just open. So it's up to you how you want to do this, but I'm going to do this covered. So the cover is one, two, three, four, with stairs at the back. So I'm going to build the cover, and uh, which will go from there. So I shall go back over to the build. So we've got the stairs in place anyway. So we're going to cut a hole and so we cut one, two, three, four. Then we add the bottom there and then one, two, three, four. We add the other side. And then we go one, two, three, four across. Add the thing there. So you've got the, the well cut open for the actual uh, staircase. And then I'm going to get my white quartz steps, which are those. And we're going to add stairs there facing the wrong way. So put stairs there, block, I think stairs, block, block, and then stairs again. If this works, it should all be fine. So put st stairs all round. So I'm just doing this at random. I'm not doing it as sort of an exact copy of what I've done because I'm a bit confused myself. But... Uh, Add the roof there like that. So we've got we've got a, a sort of cover there. So if we just go down, we've got plenty of room to get up and down, and we've got the well done there. So I should add the uh, the banisters. So we go two up, two up, and two up there, and may as well just build all the way around, don't we? So just add the well all the way down, and add the walls around it. So you've got an enclosed area there, and you can go up from the promenade to the boat deck. And that is fine there. So I do the same on the other side as quick as I can. So now that I know what I'm doing, go from the fourth block here, use our stairs one, two, three, four, add the stairs up, stairs, 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 and stairs. Cut a hole, add the stairs to the other side. And there we go. And then we just cut the hole around. So one, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. Adding the stairs to the top as well. Then we just go one, two, three, four, 
one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, the cross. We add a few stairs, so stairs, stairs, and stairs, 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 stairs. Then we just add side walls of the well and then the roof to cover it. And there we go, that's the other one done. Just go down to the bottom and add the banisters. So you go two up, two up, two up. And then add the rest of the well itself. Like I say, depends how it's interpreted and you can copy it if you want with the roof or don't bother, you just have it as an open promenade or an open stairwell. So if you want it to be open and you just remove the top section like that and then you've got an open area like that so in some films it's open like this in other films and photographs it's enclosed like that so it's ent entirely up to you what you want to do but uh, I'll leave that for now but uh, if you want to either use option A or option B it's entirely up to you but that is those two little jobs done there as well as all the promenade deck and boat deck added and uh, I'm going to go out now and have a few drinks because this has really killed me this week. <laughs> anyway, that is uh, all that for part five. Now for part six, I'm sort of pondering what to do for part six, whether we do the boat deck superstructure or go to the folk saw and the poop deck so fill out the details there. So there's still plenty to do, but I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and uh, having to do the little details last. So I may I may leave the funnels and the, uh, the, the top superstructure till later focus on the smaller details but we'll see but uh, anyway that is it for part five so for part six like I say I don't know what we're going to do but we'll see but anyway this is Rich signing off logging off and disappearing and I shall return in part six so uh, bye for now